Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. October FBAR extension deadline nears for foreign bank and financial account holders. The deadline nears? Honestly, I always thought the deadline was standing still and we were the ones going towards it. But no, apparently the deadline is the one coming after us. Well, we're just standing here, minding our own business. Which is strange because I didn't think lines could move on their own. Especially lines that were dead. Oh no, the IRS has sent a stalking, slow-moving deadline after me to eat my brains and steal my money. Or maybe the other way around. Deadlines being the perfect collection goon because you can't kill something that's already dead. Just ask my libido after being forced to watch the movie Bros. Just kidding. I don't actually know much about the movie. It's just a joke. Here's another one. There's a reason the hippie movement failed. They tried to speak truth to power. I suppose you think you're brave, don't you? Only compared to some. And I mean, even assuming they knew truth. You're that smart. Let me put it this way. Have you ever heard of Plato, Aristotle, Socrates? Yes. Morons. Really? Speaking truth to power is not how it's done. You need to speak truth to the people. You mock my pain. Life is pain, Highness. Anyone who says differently is selling something. About the lies of power. But I do not think it would accept my help, since I am only waiting around to kill you. That does put a damper on our relationship. Speaking truth to power is like speaking truth to a slimy lawyer who doesn't believe in truth, but only in power. We are men of action. Lies do not become us. Power through manipulative word games. It's a waste of time. This is noble, sir. His wife is crippled. His children are on the brink of starvation. Are you a rotten liar? Before arguing about truth, you need to be talking to somebody who agrees with the baseline. That truth is actually like... a thing. We're not just doing this for money. We're doing it for a load of money. IR 2022-174, October 6, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service today reminds U.S. citizens, resident aliens, and domestic legal entities that the extension deadline to file their annual report of foreign bank and financial accounts, that's the FBAR, F-B-A-R, is October 15th. For additional information about filing deadlines, filers should look to Financial Crimes Enforcement Networks. That's the uh, FinCEN, F-I-N-C-E-N website. There's a link to that here. Filers who missed the April 15th uh, annual due date earlier this year received an automatic extension until October 15th, 2022 to file the FBAR FBAR. They did not need to request the extension. Who needs to file? The Bank Secrecy Act requires U.S. persons to file an FBAR if, number one, they have a financial interest in or signature or other authority over one or more accounts such as a bank account, a brokerage account, mutual fund, or other financial account located outside of the United States. And I believe this should be number two, even though it says number one, but I believe this would be number two. The aggregate value of all foreign financial accounts exceeds $10,000, fairly low threshold, at any time during the calendar year 2021. Because of this threshold, the IRS encourages U.S. persons with foreign accounts, even relatively small ones, to check if this filing requirement applies to them. So again, that is a relatively small uh, line to, to uh, limit there, so might have a lot of people that would need to be filing here. So a U.S. person is a citizen or resident of the United States or a domestic legal entity such as a partnership, corporation, limited liability company, estate, or trust how to file filers do not filers do not file the fbar with their federal income tax return so it's not part of the income tax filing process generally the 2021 fbar must be filed electronically with fincen and is online available through the bsa e-filing system there's a link to that here website individuals who are unable to e-file their fbar must contact fincen at 800-949-2732 
and there's an email address here as well. I won't say those a hundred times because there will be a link to this in the description. You can check them out on your own. You could do that to request an alternative filing method if you can't do the e-filing, but the e-filing is probably the easiest thing to do. Callers from outside the U.S. can contact the helpline at 703-905-3975. Again, there'll be a link to this in the description so you could check that out on your own. Avoid penalties. That's our goal here. We don't like when the IRS hits us with the penalty stick. So those who don't file an accurate FBAR when required may be subject to significant civil and criminal penalties that can result in a fine and or imprisonment depending on the facts and circumstances. Okay, 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 I'll file, I'll file. FBAR resources on irs.gov. There's more links to those resources here. You've got the report of foreign bank and financial accounts, the FBAR link. Uh, details on reporting foreign bank and financial accounts. There's a link to that here. Publication 5569, Report of Foreign Bank and Financial Accounts. That's the FBAR reference guide. There's links to all that stuff here, and there'll be a link to this in the description.